Turn to Action News reporter Corey Davis, who is live at Temple University Hospital. And Corey, the injured SEPTA officer is recovering from surgery this morning. Matt, good morning. We're told that he is doing well after that surgery here at Temple University Hospital. Uh, the SEPTA police chief says that he's uh, that officer's heroic action set the example. And right now the chief is using that as a way to encourage the rest of the force. I'm telling them to, uh, to go out to do the job that, that everybody hopes that they're going to do, and this officer is the example to follow. We are very fortunate to not have more members wounded in the line of duty, killed in the line of duty. Um, officers are very concerned. They're very upset. Um, they, they, you know, this, this has rattled them to the core, and you can understand why. And with some relief, too, this was the big moment there for fellow officers waiting outside the ER last night. That injured SEPTA officer gave them a thumbs up while on FaceTime after surgery. We're told that SEPTA officer, who is also a SWAT team member, saved a Philadelphia police officer who became pinned while under fire at that barricade scene in the city's Frankfurt section. The SEPTA officer was shot in the abdomen and rushed here to Temple University Hospital in critical condition. Top city officials raced here to check on his condition along with, uh, with his mom, dad, and brother by his side. So the officer's name has not been released yet, but we do know he is 28 years old and has been on the SEPTA police force for three years. But now reporting live here in North Philadelphia, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News.